All right, so basically what we're going to do is show you all how to insert information into a Postgres database and query that information. Uh, so we're just going to super quick log in. And the first thing that you got to do is create the database. Um, so right now we're kind of in this Postgres world. And so if we type in create database temp DB, oops, spelled it wrong. Got to make sure you spell these words correctly. So create database temp DB. And then we're going to connect to that database using backslash C. So now we are inside of the tempdb database. Um, so the first thing that you do with a database is create a table. And the one that we're going to use is going to be one called friends. Um, so it's like a familiar concept. It's probably something that uh, Facebook would use or Twitter. Or more or less, you want to just store information about your friends. Um, so the first thing that you would do is create a table and then give it columns kind of like first name, last name, age, and city. This way we can keep track of our friends' names, how old they are, and where they live at. So we're going to create a table called friends. ID, serial, primary key. The ID just keeps track of uh, each row. It's just like a unique identifier. Um, and then we'll say name and char. We'll say first name, actually. So first name, we'll say char 50. That just means it have a maximum of 50 characters. So say last name is char 50. Age will be int and city will be char 50. Create table, friends. Boom, boom, boom. Looks good. All right. So if we run a query, select star from friends, all we're going to see is the column names, no rows. So let's go ahead and start inserting some friends into our database. You need rows to create queries. So let's say insert into friends, first name, last name, age, city, values. Um, put Justin Combs 23 NYC. Um, let's do another one. Let's say Leah Thompson. Who knows? Maybe she's 18 and she lives in New Orleans. Let's say another name, Tim uh, Smith, maybe he's 25, and he lives in, we're just going to add two more, oops, Los Angeles. Um, so who else we're going to add, let's just say Chris Jones, be 22, he can live in Los Angeles too, and then we'll do Tia Parker. She'll be 23. Why not? She'll live in Los Angeles. Well, let's put her in NYC. So you got friends all over. All right, so let's see all of our friends. Select star from friends. So you'll see Justin, Leah, Tim, Chris, Tia, and you'll see how old they are and the cities that they're in. So let's say if we want to see all of our friends that are over the age of 23. 
select star from friends where age is greater than 23. Only one person, and that's Tim. He's 25. So let's say, what if we did greater than or equal to 23? Boom. Two more people popped up. That's Justin and Tia. So now you can start to see how databases allow you to insert information and then start using different criteria to query those columns. Um, the columns we already know are first name, last name, age, and city. Now that ID column basically is something that that's a, it's a unique identifier so we can use it to just quickly pull a record. So in the case of an app, you would use that ID to load a user's information based off of a login. Um, so like, let's say they gave you a password, the password was successful for Justin, then you would end up doing a select from friends where ID equals one. And that's gonna give us all of Justin's information. And that's quicker from a speed wise, for, that's, that, it's quicker to do ID equals one the name equals Justin. Um, common name does not exist. Select star from friends. Oh, whoops. First name. Gotta get that right. Um, and then also, if there's multiple Justins, then that's gonna be a problem too. So for example, you could say select star from where city equals NYC. You get all of your friends in NYC and you can do the same for Los Angeles. Um, another cool thing that you can do is you can find everyone with a particular letter in their name. So let's say you're typing in a search box and you wanna find all your friends with the letter T in their first name. So you could say select star from friends where name is like, use the percent sign as a wild card to match anything and we use it on the front and the back. So that basically means, you know, anything before the T, zero or one or two letters, it doesn't matter, or anything after the T. As long as there's a T in the first name field, oops, put first name, then show me those results. It's three people, Justin, Tim, and Tia. Um, and so that's basically how you kind of, in a simple way, insert information into um, a table within a database and then you can also, again, query that information. Um, databases get really powerful whenever you end up combining multiple tables and you also end up having hundreds of thousands of records or millions of records, you know? So you can imagine if you have all of your friends, kind of like Facebook, maybe a thousand people connected and you are on a search for different things, um, you know, let's say if you wanna see all of the people last name that has on two people thompson and jones so you don't have to know all of this information you just formulate your queries correctly and it'll just spit it back to you as fast as it can um, so that's kind of like the basics of uh, using a database and for this one we use postgres which is a sql uh, database that allows you to run sql commands and so all of these commands select insert create database they're all sql commands um, there's other types of databases out there, but this is kind of like one that a lot of people use, has a lot of power and a lot of tools.